So literally, let me just role play a situation here. Let's say um, I'll just use that's my husband. So he, he does something that annoys me. Okay, that's not hard. Almost anything annoys me some days. And so I catch my attitude and I'm like, uh, okay, maybe he, you know, asked me why I did something the way I did because he's, you know, that's, that's what he does. So I switch the bracelet and I'm feeling irritated because, may, you know, it, 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 it makes me feel insecure, maybe makes me feel unloved when he asks a question like that. I go to the verse, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Ephesians 1 4. Well, there's so much I can pull out of this. I can remind myself I'm loved by God. I don't need to worry that my husband asked me a question about why I put the knife in which drawer I put it in. I can, I, I'm chosen in Christ. But the knife doesn't matter if I'm chosen in Christ. I'm holy and without fault. So I may feel like my husband's nitpicking me about that. No, it's not a big deal. What really matters is who I am in God. What really matters is who I am in Christ. So I have this as a reminder and then my, my negative thought has been interrupted, it's been replaced, and now I need to work on how I'm feeling about my husband. So I take a look at the gift card and I go, okay, my melancholy husband, his goal is perfection. Okay, so somehow what I did with a knife didn't meet his standards of perfection. And one of the first strengths he has is the strength of analysis, which means he wasn't really trying to pick me apart as a person. He really did come into the kitchen and go, oh, I need to analyze this knife situation so that it's it, everything works better in the kitchen, so it's more streamlined. I took it personally because that's what I do. I, I take questions like that personally. He didn't intend it personally. And so I can look at this and I can say, okay, what does he do that involves his analysis that not only does not annoy me, but that blesses me, that I'm so glad he does? And that's a very easy answer. He keeps the computers running. I mean, anytime I have a computer problem, he's my go-to man. And he will work hours at a time until they function just the way I need them to. And so when I can go through this process and it starts out with me being triggered, why is he asking me about the knife? And I start getting all attitude -y. switch the bracelet as a reminder that I want to change the headline, either, you know, from overcritical husband, that's not a good headline, all right? I go to God's word to interrupt my thinking, to replace my thinking with all sorts of wonderful uh, words of hope and promise about who I am in Christ. And then in my own mind, I switch what I'm thinking about my husband. And instead of being rah, rah, rah about how picky or whatever critical he is, I'm like, no, no, he's analytical. And, and he doesn't, he can't turn that on and off at will. It's who he is. And so I have to remind myself, he's not analyzing me. He's not criticizing me. He analyzes the entire world all the time. He actually just feels really comfortable verbalizing it around me. And so then after going through that process, I can go into my journal and I can put this now into writing. I can date it. I can pray specifically for my husband if that's what I feel like I need to do. I can decide I'm going to watch for more opportunities today to see his analysis at work. And maybe I'll, I'll even look for, okay, I'm gonna look for some of his organization at work. I'm gonna really look for his compassion. Since I was irritated, that was my own reaction, I'm now gonna look for evidence of his compassion to replace that feeling of, of irritation so that I don't end up building this image of my husband and turn him into this person that he really isn't. But the more I dwell on that negative stuff, the more in my mind he becomes that person. But if I dwell on who I know he is, the gifts that God has given him, the strengths of his personality, then that's what's gonna dominate in my mind. And it's gonna change how I feel. I mean, by changing my mind, I change my feelings. And then I'm gonna put it in, into words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna verbalize my appreciation of him. And I'll be honest, that day I might not appreciate his organization of the knife drawer. That may have to wait a few days because I'm petty like that. I just don't change that quickly. But I can say I appreciate the way that he um, got my computer uh, hard drive defragmented last week. It's been working a lot faster this week. And then I have the verse down here as a reminder.